Nicholas, another big win tonight here in Cage Warriors. Um, you know, Copenhagen card coming up. Do you feel that win puts you in, I guess, contention for a title shot? Absolutely. If I don't get a title shot in Copenhagen, it has to be due to injury or some other freak accident. Uh, for sure, I, I really want to fight for the title in Copenhagen. Um, last time I fought in Copenhagen for Cage Warriors, it was a title fight. I won the title. So uh, let's do that again. Got the job done in the third round. He came shooting in on your legs very quickly. Did you kind of expect anything different from him? And what do you kind of make of your own performance as well? Well, we kind of knew that was an option for him against somebody like me, uh, taking into account his skill set. Because, yeah, to be as objective as possible, I'm probably the better striker. So we knew that was a possibility, but I didn't accept, expect him to shoot in that fast, perhaps. How frustrating was that first round for you? It wasn't particularly frustrating. I knew I lost the round when it was when the round was over. But you know, I, I got a I got a pretty good sense of his power, his 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 movement. So I knew it wasn't the best start, but I didn't feel like I was getting super overpowered or that I I got run over. Alex Lahore had a pretty incredible win tonight over Tim Barnett. He was also calling for a title shot. Why do you think you deserve a shot uh, over Lahore and what are your thoughts on him as a potential matchup? I think I deserve the title shot because I'm the better fighter. I, I, I am the Cage Warriors World White Champion. I just need to go and, uh, and fight the guy who has the belt, my belt. Um, so yeah, and that's the reason. We, we spoke before this about how much this fight meant to Phil Mulpeter going into it. Did you feel that kind of desire out of him in the fight? It was fairly back and forth, epic fight as far as all the fans are concerned at home. I definitely felt that he was he was game for the fight and I saw that in his eyes at the weigh-in. Um, I, I, I can't say how much it meant to him or not, but he was definitely game for the fight. and He kept putting the pressure on as he always does. Um, so yeah did an excellent fight. I have so much respect for Peter. I really like the guy, so in a way it was, I, I just didn't want to fight him, if you know what I mean. He was just such a nice guy. I want him to do well as, as well. Um, but yeah, that, those were the circumstances and uh, we went in there and we left it all in the cage and I think we're going to have a beer or two at the hotel afterwards. Russ Houston is here tonight. By any chance have you uh, crossed paths? Have you got to say face to face what you've uh, said to the world in, in the cage? I think he came up to me after when I walked out the cage and, and with a big smile and you don't know, want a piece of this, but sure, I want. I, I saw his last fight and it was good, but I know I'm better. You tell me you feel like you're in like you know a, a good vintage here for Nicholas Dalby. You think it's the best form of your life. Do you feel like you've justified that with the performance tonight? I might not be in the te best technical uh, place I've ever been in, but mentally I'm light years ahead of what I've ever been before. and I. The last couple of fights, I've been feeling this calmness before I walk out to the fights. I always felt tense and kind of like Ugh, tensed up. But the last couple of fights, I've, I've found this like not inner peace. That sounds very uh, yoga-ish, but like I've there's just this calmness that comes over me just before I enter the cage. This was your first fight as a father. I mean, fighters talk about you know fighting differently, fighting emotionally when they become a parent. Did you have any kind of different experiences? Um, well, I did think just to a flash of a moment before I had to walk in, uh, I was doing this for my daughter. But it's 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 hard to pick apart if the way I feel now is because I've become a father or because I've just in a better place mentally. Maybe those things like are together or maybe just happen separately. And anyway, I, I just feel good in a good place right now, and I'm happy to have my daughter, of course, uh, who was here as well. If you saw her cage side. The mummy, that was quite incredible. How do you kind of reflect on 2018? You, know, you kind of started off with that loss, but ever since then you got engaged, you had the child, two wins. Like, do you look back on it fondly? Was that, was that really a loss though? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was a bit of a bummer and it kind of made me dip down a bit uh, in my mental health. But I came back and, and just found that the passion for the sport again, the passion for training, the passion for fighting, especially. I, f I feel so loose and just comfortable in the cage now, in a way that I've never felt before. And what is the goal now? Like, what are you trying to achieve? Well, it's a white title, and then UFC. Brilliant, thanks, Nick. Stuff, man.